right, hopefully you watched the first video and you saw how to find the mean, median, mode, all that good stuff. So you kind of already know how to do some of this stuff. I'm going to go a little quicker. Um, this, it wants me to find the range, which is just the max minus the min, the variance and the standard deviation. These take a lot of steps. It's kind of good to go through one just to see how to do it because you're taking each one of these data values and you're subtracting it from the mean. So you got to find the mean, right? And then you square them and then you divide by the number of values minus one and that gives you the variance and then you square root it to get the standard deviation. Like I said, it's not a bad idea. Um, let me see if it actually shows, shows the formula right here. It's not a bad idea to go through. Yeah, here it is right here. Um, again, so the variance, you're taking X, which is each data value. So 41 minus whatever the mean of this data set is. And you're doing that for every single one of these values and you're squaring them. Then you add up all of those values and then you divide by N minus 1. Well, remember N's the sample size. So if you have 10, that would be divided by 9. Um, I think it's a good activity to go through and see once, but oh, yes, yeah, good. then you learn to use technology. So technology here, again, in the first video, I showed how to go to stat, edit, go in your calculator and enter these values. If I arrow up to one, L L1, I can hit clear and then enter, and it clears out my values. So I can start typing my values in, 42, 41, at least this one doesn't look like it has decimals, 39, 33, 23, 19, 18, 17, 6, ooh, that, there is a decimal, 16.6, .6, and then finally 15.1. So remember, that's kind of the key with using your calculator is you have to get the data in your calculator. All right. And so then from here, we just do second quit. Brings me back to this home screen. I go, and this is the same thing we did in the finding the mean, median, the mode. So I go to stat. I go to calc. I do one variable stats. I tell it second L1 because that's my list. My values are in and I press enter. So first of all, it asks the range. So the range is found by taking the max, which is 42, minus the min, which is 15.1. OK, so 42 minus 15.1. And so I get 26.9. Well done. Good job, Cindy. Then the variance, and that's why you really like to use these calculators. The variance here, so notice this is where we found the mean. This is just going through and summon the actual value, summon the squares. Um, if you remember in the, um, the way, the, I'm trying to get a word out, the way that they told you the variance was sigma squared, the standard deviation, okay, was S, so if you kind of scroll through this, I'm not seeing a sigma squared, but that's okay because the variance, okay? So in other words, these are, remember this is for population. So this would be the population standard deviation, uh, the sample standard deviation. Why is there a difference? The population, they divide by the total number in. The sample, which is what you want, because it says the sample, um, you want the sample variant. So here, they only give me the standard deviation. Well, I guess I could do it here on your screen, which is 11.09454, oh, oh, just be sure I get enough of the decimal places. And then the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So then the variance would be found by just squaring that number. And it says here, round to two decimal places. That's why you have to be careful that you put enough decimal places in here. So hopefully I get the right number. Nice work. And then the standard deviation is that value. So two decimal places, 11.09. So that's actually given. So that's the S value. And good job, right? Well done. 
Um, it's a standard deviation of the sample, a good estimate of the variation of salaries. Th this is the same thing that, um, again, all they're doing is they're given the top annual salaries. So it's probably not a very good indicator because this isn't the entire population. It's just simply the um, top salaries. All right, so as I did in the other video, let's do this in StatCrunch. Open the data in StatCrunch. La, 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 la. And there's my data. I go up to Stat. I go to Summary Stats. I tell it I want columns because my data is in a column. I click which column I want. And then down here, again, I can kind of click off of that to get just what I want. I can get the, the variance, and I would kind of scroll through these. So the mean, the variance, standard error, center. Ooh, look, at there's the range. And so I hit compute, and I see that I get these values, 1.2309, the range 26.9, and 11.09. So again, please, please, I'm, beg I'm begging you, learn to use technology. Because now it's like, well, what are these numbers? Well, the range kind of makes sense, the highest minus the lowest. The variance is the spread of the data squared, okay? So a lot of times they won't use this except in other, other formulas. The standard deviation, notice, is in the same unit. So this is how spread the data is, about 11 million. So there's a pretty big spread even just in these 10 values. Um, but again, you know, the variability, the spread, those are the words I like to use a lot when talking about standard deviation. So get these, get these technology tools down to let uh, StatCrunch or your calculator do the work for you.